The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we posted something into the Tiger Den today from one of our listeners yesterday, uh, thanking him for the fact that we preach about not watching these screens all the time. And one of the things that uh, we've talked about is you must break that habit. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is I forgot to change the... Hold on just a second, boys and girls. i got to change the settings on the charts, otherwise... It doesn't, uh, it's not going to work very well. So give me one second here and I will get it up here. And now we're ready to go. I had to change and then I had to add one, one stock that somebody asked me about. So give me a second here and I will bring that one back up here, which is the old treasury notes. And here it is. Main thing I'm bringing to your attention here is the treasury notes has started to work pretty well. So make sure you put your stop at, uh, uh, at break even on this because it's up about a little over a thousand dollars in that treasury note so keep that working uh the other position that you have on is the dow jones and believe it or not folks i sold the wrong of the three indices if we had sold the, the nasdaq would be up about four grand if we just sold the s p would be up about 20 about two grand and we're basically flat even and probably going to get stopped out because there's two stocks in the dow that are causing this hundred plus move uh one of them here is we'll take a look at this is Boeing Airlines and we'll get up here and we'll show you some of the patterns that we're looking by the way Norm Winsky will be our guest here uh, at the break so that'll be fun we haven't had Norm on for a while but this is Boeing going back to March you can see the big ABCD three drive to a bottom that was there down there at 185 we've now rallied up to the 382 of the March high today that comes in at 1 to 220 to 222 we're already trading above that at that two last I saw was uh, well this was posted just a little while ago 224 uh, and there's a couple small little ABCs in there but that's the real pump uh, movement in the Dow today is to do to a uh, Boeing and uh, one other stock that I I don't know what it is I just heard a mention that two stocks were doing it one of them was Boeing is all I remember here so the reason why you don't want to look at the machine folks is because with the facilities that we have now technically you can see the exact value of what these things are doing like you're free up fifty dollars or down fifty dollars and something and you start focusing on the money and believe me that 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 screws up the whole equation and what Mark Douglas taught me and many of the other people that came through here was the fact that, you know, you can't break your habit of watching the machine in one day. You've got to start out by, you know, watching it every 10 minutes and then maybe every 20 minutes. And pretty soon you can check every half hour. And you're going to be just fine. There shouldn't be any problem with that. If you're looking at 15 minute charts, you're talking about just two or three bars. Not much is going to happen there. You can have your alerts in to let you know what's going on. But that's uh, that's a key to, to what we're doing now. What I do, you know, I follow things relatively closely of the things that I watch. And when I hear a news announcement, I go to that news announcement and I say, well, does that make sense of what's really happening in the market? Today's news announcement on just about everything, CNBC, well, it's not, well yeah, the, the CNBC was certainly on it, but Bloomberg was really on this early this morning, was the fact that we are breaking out in the heating oil, which we expected it to. You can see the ABCD pattern we have there at 260 and change out of that. Okay, so that's taken out that highs that we made way back in October. So I said, well, if that's pretty good, then maybe this thing is really exploding to the upside. So my next question is, why don't I go to a 15-minute chart and look at it over the last few days to see if there's anything there that would allow me to come in and risk something and maybe make a couple of bucks off of it? And that's what we're looking at right now. So anyway, you can see here there's a perfect ABCD. Those are equal moves, folks, right up there at that uh, 262. And we're trading at, I believe, 258 right now. That's down four handles, and you're only risking one handle. 
So that's that's what I was doing. I was taking that short-term pattern, giving the news out there. Everybody's extremely excited about it. Look how quickly it hit, you know, 262 and broke below the old highs at 261. I mean, that was the first sign that maybe there was something wrong. I don't know. But that's, uh, that's what I'm doing when I'm watching some of these things. Uh, I, I got a several emails about, you know, I, I sent these charts out on gold with the videos and stuff. And I said, there's a lot of resistance up here at 1828 to 1828. 26 in the gold market and someone said to me well why didn't you go short well the reason why is i have a bullish bias and it was it could have been the same reason but i had a bullish bias that i thought that i would be able to buy the uh the gold at a lower price and so i've you know i, I worked around that to say look i i'm still bullish gold and i'd like to buy it on a break well we're getting the break now and nobody wants to buy it so <laughs> six of one, half dozen of the other. All right, let's look at a couple stocks here. Now, I was trying to research a stock today, and I'll sh let me show you what happened. I was looking for Wells Fargo because I have a, a pattern here I want you to see here. And I pull up the Wells Fargo chart, and then when I realized WF is not Wells, Char Wells Fargo. So I, I had to go in and find out where it is. And then I found out from one of our good friends over in uh, Indonesia that there's earnings come out on Wells Fargo tomorrow. But let's look at Wells Fargo as a stock, folks. And I think this is a bank that is going to be in big trouble down the road this is my uh, my two cents worth so here is, you'll see the chart on the wells fargo is very similar to the wf chart now we are exactly uh we hit the exact uh 786 today uh up here at uh, 4, 56 uh, 47 that was the exact uh, 786 retracement that was the move today okay now i'm looking at a weekly chart here now all i'm going to do now is i'm going to move down and i'm going to take it to a daily chart and as you see, as we come up here to the daily chart, we'll get up here. Hold on here. Where are we? We get there. There's what we want. All right. Here's the daily chart. And you can see we have a really nice three drive to a top pattern with two 1.618 expansions. OK, now the bad news is <laughs> there's earnings tomorrow. Well, that's what stops are for. So if we get hammered, it's going to be about a two dollar risk at uh, fifty eight forty. But frankly, uh, I've seen this thing. We saw the news with Nike that time. Uh, the news follows the trend, folks. And this trend with those double one point six one eight numbers should be coming to an end. That's the way that it looks like uh, to me. And look, I don't do stocks very often. I didn't know anything about the earnings or anything like that. I put posted that just to show you the pattern. Uh, I'm not planning on doing stocks. I've got my hands full doing futures and everything. And so that's uh, the main thing that I'm uh, that I'm watching here right now. Someone asked me, was I frustrated the fact that uh, I happened to be in the wrong uh, thing for the for the 24 seven folks? Yes, I was. But the Nasdaq it did not violate anything from yesterday, nor did the S&P. Now, if the S&P starts breaking below the low that we made today at 1404, 40, excuse me, 4704, that's going to be a very negative sign. And that, that's just on base how quickly it got here and whether it keeps going or not. So those are just a few things that we're taking care of this morning. There's a few others that I want to get into, uh, and that is uh, – the importance, uh, this was brought to my attention by one of our uh, friends over in Switzerland, over in Basel, Switzerland. Hold on one second, and I'll be right back with you to talk to you about the NASDAQ at point three eight two. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted this chart of the NASDAQ and the importance of that 382, but it really dawned on me uh, two days ago when I got a nice little phone call from a friend from 1988 back in Switzerland. I was in uh, Zurich, Switzerland, which is a, in the southern part south of Geneva on Lake Zurich, a beautiful place. They invited me to speak to the Zurich Bankers Association. I had 20 bankers there, and I was speaking on a, a Saturday. And so I went through my usual eight hours, and everybody was very excited. And I'll say, well, when we come back tomorrow, we're going to finish up the program, and I think we'll be ready to do some trading on Monday. And they said, well, this is only a one-day seminar on Saturday. And I said, well, I've planned for a two-day seminar. And they and I said, well, if you want to – I said, I'm going to be here, so if you want to come back, I'll be more than happy to continue. And everybody came back the next day, including the gentleman uh, that uh, sent me this chart. And uh, we were we were laughing about that. And what the banks did, they, they paid me ten grand plus expenses for that – I thought it was two days, which was one day. They gave me another $5,000 on top of the thing. So I made fifteen grand. And I was able to spend two weeks over there. I went to Italy to visit visit some friends and students over there and then I went back to uh, Germany and stuff so I had a great time but anyway we were joking uh, we were joking about that one of my most memorable experiences of that is they have oomph houses which are like uh, uh, men's clubs or women's I don't yeah they have men's clubs is what they were and the house the house wine folks was Dom Perignon boy I thought that was I thought that was pretty good anyway this anyway the reason from he he said to share this and I'm going to when I do my next day trading seminar are, uh, which will be sometime in uh, probably late February, early March. But he said this 3A2 is even more important than you realize, he says, because if you look at some of the PM 
parameters really closely, you're going to find out that it turns out to be a great trend identifier. So he had some ideas there, and he ran about 10 charts through uh, me, and I looked at him, and I said, boy, I said, you're on to something here, so I'm going to be doing some research. I've got to go over a lot of charts before I can find out, you know, the real validity of it, but they sure look really good. Let me give you an example of what we're watching here. Now, if you remember, yesterday we were looking at natural gas, and we had this explosive move. Again, you see when it exploded above 429, that was a 382 on the daily. That was yesterday. And boom, we went all the way up to 490, folks. That was a monster move. You know, you're talking $7,000 in natural gas in one day on a margin of 2,900. Boy, that, that uh, you don't get the bangs for your bucks like that very often. But if you play the devil's advocate, and if you do play the devil's advocate, which we do sometimes, we want to take a look at what happened to natural gas today. So if you look at natural gas, on the, the, I, I got the, 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 the high was 488, not 490. But you'll notice after the high was made, the high was made, and that this is a 15-minute chart. So early this morning, you can see at 2 o'clock in the morning, New York time, we were making a 382 retracement, okay? And look at that. It went from 40, 478, we dropped $3,000, and had another 38 retracement at 470. So pay attention to those, folks. These are real simple stuff. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket science. If you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide, you've got a nice little thing to look at. And I'm going to get all the numbers together on this to try to build a technical one so that the, the machine can pick it up. Now, that's not always easy to do, but my goodness, it's really a, it's really a terrific way of entering a trade and not risking very much. And you have two things going for you is, A, you're trading with the trend, always very good, and B, your loss to reward ratio is 5 six seven to one or more you know those are those are really good uh, really good ideas i think you know we'll do one at a time i've been asked to take a look at our good friend high grade copper by the way would someone be so kind as to post to me where the price i'm not in this uh i'm not in wells fargo i i made i don't think i'll ever make a stock uh let's do copper here first but someone let me know where the uh where the uh what do you call it uh the where Wells Fargo is trading, I just want to know. Uh, hold on here. Okay, let's move here. Take a look at copper. Uh, we were watching uh, for, for a potential sell signal up in here at the 456 level, 457, with a stop above 460. We were just looking at that for a 61% retracement. And so far, you know, I think it's working a little bit. You know, whether it's a much or not, I don't know. That's pretty much it. Folks, people ask me, you know, why don't I do – you know, a lot more, a lot more trading for you guys. You know, for, I have a hard time focusing on just one or two trades a day. That's what I try to do. Uh, you know, I'm, and I'm, I'm watching for risk. That's the thing I, thing I focus on the most is how much do we have to risk. And as long as I keep doing that, I know I'm not going to get into a lot of trouble. And uh, my trouble in the past is when I have a really strong opinion about something and I stick with that opinion, even though the charts don't mean much anymore. Well, I don't do that anymore. Let's take a look at this one chart that we were asked to look at before. Uh, it was a chart of the ZX. That's one of the major uh, uh, one of these high tech stocks. But we had a big ABCD up there at 330. It went all the way up to 375. And now we're trading at 273. And look at this little quiet three day rally, folks. This is not a good sign for this stock. When you get a little 382 rally over three days, oh dear, you went from 270 up to 290. Uh, this thing's got to get above 300 before it can be, be bullish again. So let's our, okay, the, the, it's 5663. So that's the, that's the number, right? right up there so we'll see we'll do one thing at a time here as we usually do norm winsky will be our um, guest at the break and we'll certainly like to listen to what norm has to say now i wanted to uh give you one other one that was here uh, about the bitcoin and cryptocurrency stuff this is the longer term picture that we looked at before we went down and we held the support at those old levels of 40 uh, 440 but our this thing has to get above 52,000 for this pattern not to work folks and we're only at 44,000 right now so we're still looking at a price somewhere between uh, 24,000 and 20,000 sometime in late uh, late January early February, depending on how the trading gods work. We are going to start talking about 
uh, cryptocurrencies in the newsletter. I'm going to pick one each week with the help of uh, John uh, Jameson, and we'll try to you know follow it along. It'll all be technically re related, but we'll find some that are getting moving along in the right direction. Is what we. That's what we'll try to see as we're we're going through through and looking at some of these things regarding the the euro and the U.S. dollar. We pushed above that critical level that we pointed out yesterday, that 144.70. We started to back off a little bit. That's not to be unexpected. The key level to watch now is to watch the euro at 113.90. If the euro backs off no low no lower than 113.90, that's going to be a very very bullish number to be watching. We'll cover that on the show uh, tomorrow. And by the way. Tomorrow, we have a really another one of our favorite folks. They're all favorite, but some of them are even more favorite than the favorites. Those we call super favorites. Well, J.C. Parrots of All Star Charts will be on. And that young man, he is a uh, he's a young man, but boy, he's going to be around a long time. He's covered more stuff in his early years than I ever did in my early years because I well, I was a slow learner. But and this guy's really good. We've had him on before. And uh, Jim Bartolioni happens to be a good friend of his. And the following week. Week on Monday or Tuesday, Jim Bartolioni will be our guest uh, next week, and then we'll also have Tim Bost and Stan Harley. Stay tuned for the wizard himself. He calls it to the minute, Norm Winsky. We'll be right back, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Norm Winsky as our guest from Astro Trends. Norman, welcome to TFNN once again. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on, Larry. You're ready. Go ahead and fire away, my friend. Tell us what you're looking at today. Okay, hopefully the folks can see my notes. I, I we're in, yep, everything's great. We're set up perfectly. Super duper. I thought I'd go back just a couple of weeks, pick a, a, an important event, and see how that correlates with the markets because these cycles repeat often and frequently, you know. So uh, probably one of the better known cycles is new moon, full moon. On January 2nd, that was, that's right, that was a Sunday, we had a new moon at perigee. Okay, now the moon, obviously, you, the moon is new or full every once a month, roughly. And then there's also another cycle called perigee apogee. Perigee is when the moon's closest and apogee is when the moon's farthest. These cycles coincide with one or the other. Every uh, they do the same thing every fourteen about every fourteen months. There's an alternate cycle when they, you get the opposite. Uh, it would be seven months later. So uh, and it tends to phase in. They have different lengths. You know, obviously the the new moon full moon cycle about twenty nine and a half days. Apogee perigee about twenty five. So only about every fourteen months do they line up together. They kind of phase in, phase out, so you might get a couple during a one- to two-month period, and then it goes away for you know about 14 months or so. So anyway, let's go look at the new moon we had on back on, over the New Year's weekend. And so uh, here's the uh, principles that I use. Uh, first of all, Mr. Gann, I'm an old student again, you know, Mr. Gann said that time was more important than price. And if you get the key uh, times, you will get the key prices. So we don't, there you go. We don't need the forecast price at all. You just have to act. If the market is has a good pattern, what pattern is a good pattern? We want to see the market at an extreme, moving up or moving down. Sideways is not good. Good old Isaac Newton said that for every action, there's an opposite equal reaction, and the opposite sideways is just more sideways. So we avoid sideways and look for the market at some extreme at our magic times. Now, I want you to understand, I have no control over the solar system, no control over the moon, and no control over these markets. So there's very little, if any, of my input into this. I'm just uh, correlating this stuff with the things that uh, are going on, you know, all um, imperial objective information. So let's start off with a new moon. Anytime we have a new moon, full moon, I like to borrow from the famous movie Casablanca and round up the usual suspects with financials, grains, precious metals. And uh, then usually, if it will, depending upon what sign it lands in, if that's a, uh, whatever sign that is, if it correlates to one of the markets, then we kind of run a special on that one too. So uh, and uh, within Capricorn, that would be coffee. So let's go through the markets now. Here's corn down, down, down into the new moon. Uh, I would not, and usually we look to trade near the opening. Uh, this thing gapped up, so <clears throat> I'd probably uh, tell you just to wait for it to pull back near the lows if that happens. Otherwise, take a pass. So I'm going to give this one a, a green arrow as a winner. I'm going to give that one a qualified win, okay? Then we have soybeans. You can see there, that's the Monday, the uh, January the 3rd. Uh, yeah, oh, no, yeah, that's right. That's right. January the 3rd was a Monday. There we go. Here's soybeans. It's going sideways there, so we do nothing. That's a yellow bar for to do nothing. Here's wheat going down, 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 and unfortunately, it just kept going down, so that's what a loser looks like. Okay, that's a miss. Here's coffee, though. Look at that. That's the kind of trending lower. And then if you bought on the opening there, it would have taken a little heat. And then it was a rocket ride from that day on. Here's silver. You're selling right at the top there on the moon, right after the first day after the moon. And you're right. Now, that's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm going to get too much closer than the high there. And here, gold's pretty much the same deal there. And here's S&P. was trending lower. Unfortunately, we missed the big top because that was the next day. But you would have probably would have had a call that as a low, a one to two day low there, and you could have picked up about 40 handles, so not you, you missed, uh, unfortunately the high didn't come till the next day, and here's bonds, so they cooperated nicely we were kind of rallying up into the moon and then you have been selling there right on the opening, and then a big down 
And here's the dollar. The currencies were really good. Here's the dollar right on nearest lows there on that and before that rally. And here's your Aussie dollar right on the highs. And here's the British pound. You had about a one-day high there on the pound. And here's your Canadian dollar right up near the highs there. And here's your euro right near the highs. And then the yen was just going sideways. And here's the Swiss franc right near the highs. So that was all pretty good. If you add up the green arrows and the red arrows, you had 12 winners and one miss out of 13 for 92.31%. Here's what's coming up. I, I asked Larry to come on the show at this time because we got a big cluster coming up over the next few days. Uh, just to go over it now, we have, I use the U.S. natal chart. So we take a snapshot of where the plants were, when our, I believe, when the country was founded on July the 4th, 1776. And by the way, you know, Mr. Jefferson, who wrote the Declaration of Independence, was uh, a friend and uh, a protege of Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin was an astrologer. By the way, Mr. Gann was also an astrologer. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so we look at that, and Neptune lines up with the U.S. Mars over the week, uh, tonight. And uh, so anytime we have a, a lineup with the U.S. natal chart, that's what it's called, we look at the U.S. stocks, T-bonds, and U.S. dollar for a possible change in trend. And tonight we have Mercury in the sign of Aquarius turning retrograde. Speaking of, you were talking about copper earlier. And uh, because it's in Aquarius, that would indicate copper. Uh, and also we got some uh, coming up here. We've got more for, for copper coming up. And then over the weekend, we have Saturn again lining up in the U.S. chart for stocks, T-bonds, and dollar. And then, the, then well, over the weekend, we have Mercury perihelion as mercury goes around the sun it's not a circle circular it's elliptical therefore there's a point at which mercury is closest or farthest away and perihelion is at its closest point that's an 88 day cycle so that anytime you have mercury you want to be looking at the grains and so there's corn and because it has to do with the sun which is golden you look at gold and uh, you can look at oats but nobody does and OJ and soybeans and wheat. There you go. And then, if that's not all, we throw in, in a full moon over the weekend. We have a full moon, and uh, anytime we have a full moon, uh, we have uh, do the financials, grains, precious metals, and especially silver. Remember these markets, uh, to be doing anything with them, we want to see them at some kind of extreme, a high or low, not a sideways deal. And then also over the weekend, we have Uranus, in the sign of Taurus turning retrograde and uh, one of my top categories is the planets turning direct or retrograde and over a couple day period here we have Mercury and Uranus turning retrograde right near a full moon and that's a powerful formula full moon near a direct uh, going direct as the opposite of retrograde or retrograde uh, that's usually a very powerful change in trend point Here, stay with us Norm. we got some more time coming up okay Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back speaking with Norm Winsky. Norm uh, from Astro Trends down in Naples, Florida. Norm, this is really great stuff. It's, I appreciate you sharing it with us. But we've got a caller on the line from, hey, Florida. That's down there by you, Boca Raton. But that's uh, farther south than you, isn't it, uh, Norm? Uh, no, it's uh, straight, uh, well, uh, I would say east, northeast. They're yeah, on the sure. east coast. East I'm on yeah, the okay. Gulf Coast. What's that? Oh, this name is, his name is Peter. He's on the line. Peter, are you there? Yes, I am, Larry. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Go ahead. What do you have for us yeah. today? I'm, I'm, I'm calling to give you a testimonial and your listeners regarding uh, Norm's work. Uh, I've been uh, around for 50 years as well, like, <laughs> like both of you, and do a lot of trading and so on. And uh, I'm a subscriber to Norm's newsletter. And I have to tell you that on, on uh, uh, the 7th of January... Norm was calling for a change of trend. And if you know how the NASDAQ was doing from a high uh, in, uh, in the end of December, uh, it came down like, uh, like an elevator. And uh, with Norm's advice of a change of trend uh, from down to up uh, after the close of the 7th, okay, even though I was down twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 so within my, 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 my trading, uh, I was able to recoup uh, most of that money based on the fact that uh, the change of trend that took place after the close on the 7th uh, gave us three, three, three up days, uh, which uh, recouped most of my, my losses. So, uh, number one, I want to give a testimonial to all your listeners because I was a listener as well, and I'm still a listener. But when Long gives his report of what he did in the past and so on, I have to verify that everything he says is, is honest and, and true to form. He doesn't, he doesn't hedge, he doesn't try to look good. If he's wrong, he admits that he's wrong. When he's right, he admits that he's right. And when he gives a 93 percentage uh, return on the, on the forecast that he made, uh, it's true. It really is true. And now, He's also, in addition to the newsletter, uh, he gives out on a nightly basis uh, an astro update. And those updates yeah. would also guide you as to what the market is going to do the following day. So, mm -hmm. again, as a listener and listening to Norm as a guest on your program, I do what I guess most of your subscribers uh, or listeners do. And that is saying, well, that's nice, but that's past history. You know, what have you done for me lately? I want to 
give a testimonial to say that this is so much work that Norm puts in more than is necessary because I only cover the trade, the, the uh, ES and the NASDAQ perhaps and, and other commodities. But he gives you a recap on, on everything across the board. So if your listeners are into uh, soft commodities or other, other type of uh, futures, uh, he covers it and he's right on target. And I, wanna, I can't give a, a greater testimonial to Norm's work. Well, that's a pretty good one. So thank you, and I have to agree. Norm is a pretty honest dude. He works really hard. Those are prerequisites of being born in Indiana, Peter. So he's a <laughs> stand-up guy for sure. Thank you for calling in. We appreciate it. Well, my pleasure. Thank you. Yep. It's always nice to get a testimonial like that, uh, Norm. I'm trying to find one. It's been only 18 years now, 17 years, but it's coming one of these days. Norm, we have a question from our friend down in Florida. Down, I think he's down there in... Uh, uh, someplace on the East Coast, too, um, Florida. I don't know where you are, Dollar Bill, but his question is, have you kept statistics on the uh, number of times that uh, Mercury retrograde with perihelion has a big move? Have you kept your have you kept really, you know, like up day, down day, that type of thing? That's what he's asking. I couldn't tell you specifically about that combination of Mercury turning retrograde near a perihelion. But I can tell you overall, generally, that these things tend to work about seventy percent of the time, or give okay. you a change in, <clears throat> give you a, excuse me, give you a change in trend. You know, okay, if, if that per, uh, person would like to contact me, I have my numbers going back six years, and mm-hmm. you, and and in detail for the past month or so, and you can see uh, how the, what the numbers look like for the various markets and and uh, all the various months and years. You know. Okay, we have another question from, uh, this is from Connecticut, and Scott is asking, uh, when you look at a full moon and a new moon, you have a window of time. Is that window two days, three days, five days? How, how often do you, how, what One do you day. scale? One day. One now, day. What happens, what happens if the new moon falls on a Saturday or a Monday or a Sunday? Well, then you would be looking to do something possibly on Monday's opening. Monday's opening, okay, that makes good sense. All right, that's good. Okay, you want to tell the folks how they can reach you and some of the things that you have available? Okay, let me just add here, if they'd like to get a copy of these notes so they can go and check all this out, uh, just contact me by email, and and please include your name. I don't do business. I don't talk to, you know, I don't, I'm not not doing anything with the CIA there. If you're you're going to be secretive, then uh, I I like to know who I'm talking to, you know, right? So anyway, so send me an email. And then you can get these notes. And for anybody who's not familiar with me, I've been doing this professionally for about 45 years. I landed at the CBOE there in Chicago in 1975, right out of college. And before that, I was investing and trading while I was in college at good old Indiana State University in in Larry's hometown at Terre Haute, Indiana. And there you go. So I've been doing this stuff a long time and looking for, I'll be happy to, uh, you know, uh, take your trading hopefully to a higher level. Here's how to get a hold of me. I got free classes, and uh, you know, you can get a, a maybe a free sample of my letter. And there we go. Here's I'm in uh, beautiful Naples, Florida now. Two three nine five nine four three nine three nine. That's N Winsky at Embark E M B A R Q M A I L dot com. Or you can call me on Skype at N W I N S K I underscore one. Looking forward. We got a three day weekend here, so you got. Uh, 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 I'll be here all the, working away all the all the time, and so you can contact me, and we can uh, get you going here on the path to higher learning and trading. And looking forward to helping some of your folks, Larry. Well, you did a great job today, Norm. We'll have you on again. Let's say uh, in two weeks when we have the new moon. Uh, possibly let me let me see oh, yeah. what we're okay I'm, I'm still working on uh, the, the future here on working on the February letter now you know okay no <laughs> problem well, when you have time let us know and we'll try we'll get you in here okay I appreciate it thanks a lot all right you bet, everybody folks. have a great weekend you got a three-day weekend coming up yes we have a big holiday coming up on Monday MLK day Sarah keeps asking me when we go to these cities, you know, why do we see MLK boulevards everywhere? And I have to explain to her, you know, what happening during the 60s. So she gets very interested in that. Hey, Norm, thanks for joining us. And remind, let us know when you come back on again and we'll have you on again. Okay. 
All right. Thanks a lot, Larry. Take okay, care. You bet. You bet. Norm Winsky, folks, Astro 10. So, okay, let's, we got a break coming up here in a minute, and we'll get back. We'll take a quick review of uh, some of these things here. And uh, we had a, a little break here of about a buck 20 in the uh, crude oil. We're now rallying back to the new highs again. And that's the value of short term trading. We got the Dow has taken out the highs of yesterday, which is above the 61% retracement. Uh, we sold that pretty good, but right now we're sitting with a $50. $50 Dollar loss with a stop at uh, 36,400. If we get there, we're going to take a small loss, and I'll go into that in just a minute here. So we'll be right back, folks. 877 927 6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the Treasury note. Someone has asked a question is how I selected that. Well, basically, all I was looking at, folks, was the daily chart of the notes. And I went back to see what happened in the past to see if it was going to possibly happen in the future. You notice these 13 day down moves. These are, these are you can set your watch by them. I don't know if they have anything to do with lunar cycles or anything else. All I know is that they were there. You count them down. The patterns were there. Each, each one of those lined up to to an expansion or a contraction so that gave me two factors and then i looked at the fact that you know we were right at a major 1.27 expansion on the long term daily and all we had to do was just make a slightly lower low to verify that that was it and we made a lower low by one tick 
and now we've rallied well over a thousand dollars and and almost two thousand dollars in bonds and twelve hundred dollars in the notes. That's all I was doing. Like today, when I was doing the heating oil, you know, heating oil had a had a twelve hundred dollar profit. I ended up getting out of you know of it with six hundred dollars, but it had twelve at one time. I'm focusing on risk, folks. I can't tell the future. I can get a pretty good idea what we're going to do during the day on some of these things, but where we're going to be tomorrow or the next day or the day after, you know, nobody can tell you that. And once you realize that, you don't have have to know that because if you had to know it i wouldn't be doing this you don't have to know what's going to happen next you got to know what's happening right now and the way you find out what's happening right now you reach into that wallet and you look and say oh this is what i have to risk so if i can see a pattern that possibly will work with a better odds of 65 or 70 percent in my favor i'm going to flat do it you can see the statistics that norm worked on i mean those are pretty good i mean you're not going to get 90 percent. try for 60 50 even 40 percent you can make good money on if you can control your risk. Mark Douglas reiterated to me every day for four years during those times that we had looked at those Merrill Lynch reports, over 10,000 accounts, the people that lost A put their stops too close or B didn't use stops at all. Those people that stayed in the business, even though they were losing, eventually after a three-year period made it. So don't give up. Remember Norm, uh, what's his name? <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear this is terrible the most famous Winston Churchill said never give up never give up never give up <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow folks JC Parents all star chart may God bless you